bookseller Barnes and Noble is known for its e-book readers, but the latest offering, the Nook tablet, is its first foray into the world of tablet computers. And Amazon, which also has a successful line of e-book readers, announced its first tablet with much fanfare. It's called Kindle Fire. The iPad is still the tablet to beat, dominating sales with more than two-thirds of the market. Our partners at Consumer Reports tested the Kindle Fire and the Nook tablet, along with more than 20 others. The Kindle Fire and the Nook tablet are much lower priced than the iPad, but they're also more limited, and their screen is about three inches smaller. Tests show both tablets do have very good screen quality, and they make it easy to get to a web browser, email, and other content. The difference is the $250 Nook tablet offers access to the Barnes & Noble store. It also has 16 gigs of capacity and a memory card slot. The $200 Kindle Fire only has 8 gigs of storage, but you can upload your content to the Amazon on cloud for streaming to the device. So storage is less of an issue. And a real plus, the Kindle Fire gives you access to all your Amazon content. Up until now, lower priced tablet computers have been pretty unimpressive in our tests. These are the first models that give the iPad some serious competition. But the iPad is still the best option for those looking for the full tablet experience. It's pricey though, starting at $500, but the big screen is great for movies and games. It also has a camera. And the 32 gig iPad 2 with Wi-Fi and 3G is Consumer Reports' top rated tablet.